everyone, to break up the pattern of today and to stimulate your minds a little bit. We will try to talk about a topic which is near and dear to my heart. Um, it, it is progress versus privacy and how to stop data privacy to stifle innovation. Obviously, all of us, we want to innovate because if you don't innovate, you are standing still. And obviously, your competitors will pass you on the way to success. To innovate, we need today huge amounts of data. And as we know, data drives innovation in today's business world. One of the potential um, obstacles on the way to innovation can be uh, data privacy legislations, such as GDPR here in Europe, but obviously worldwide uh, they are being enforced more and more, and uh, we see uh, from our business partners and other sources that uh, enforcing the GDPR nowadays provides for penalties as high as 4% of global annual turnover. So we see nowadays that uh, privacy technology is not only a nice to have, but a must. Don't get me wrong, I am, as Brighter AI, we are on, on this side and obviously, let's call it profiting from this, uh, from this um, development, but we are not the only company uh, who is seeing this development. For example, innovation leads all over the world say that uh, innovation uh, is, brings higher productivity. Here are some statements from worldwide uh, renowned companies. 84% of executives consider their future success to be extremely dependent on innovation. And obviously the last comment, um, far above 70% of companies, and I'm sure in one of your projects this could have been the case, uh, that some of your project has been shut down, stopped or delayed uh, due to uh, GDPR compliance issues. Yeah? Um, some of the bottlenecks can be um, legal cons consequences due to reputation damage. Um, it is resource intensive. It is difficult to transfer data across, across borders if non-anonymized. Um, it is for example, you have data quality issues and competition dis disadvantages if you are using bad anonymization techniques. In the automotive industry, how do uh, tier ones and OEMs use uh, video data, which is our field? Uh, they use it to develop ADAS functions. They use it to validate vehicles and test vehicles. They use it in production vehicles to um, record incidents. And in the end, if you have anonymized and depersonalized data, you can also monetize it. How we see now today, you have uh, three options. First one, avoid using data, <laughs> which is obviously not a good idea. You make decisions based on gut feeling and guesswork. So you get poor quality, loss of revenue. The second one is probably even worse, use data without being compliant. In this case, you can be facing fines, again, loss of profit. And the way we see it, the best one, is use high quality anonymized data to innovate and avoid the first two obstacles. I wouldn't be <laughs> standing here today if I wouldn't think that Brighter AI has a solution, at least for the image and video part of this data. What we do? We get your ori original footage and can anonymize it in two ways. The first one is precision blur, which you would know from TV nowadays. It's a pixelated face and the person gets pers um, depersonalized or anonymized. But we took this one step further. Our solution can create uh, synthetic overlays, avatars if you want to call them that way. Like this, you will have a virtually generated overlay or an image of a person which doesn't re exist in the real world, so your, uh, your data learning models or uh, AIs can learn on high quality data. The same we would do for license plates. To recap, faces are detected in the original image, 
For each face or license plate, an artificial overlay is generated, and this non-reversible overlay replaces the original data. And now, is it running? Ah, oh, no, one back. <laughs> Here we go. That's how an example of the solution would work. Thank you very much, and please visit us and the other startups in the startup area. Thank you.